Oscar, uh, a quick question uh, in regard, you know, we're talking about the lightweight picture. It reminded me of Vasily Lomachenko and, of course, the situation that's occurring in Ukraine right now. Yeah. Obviously, Vitaly Klitschko was another legendary fighter that was in your era. What are your thoughts of these valiant warriors and fighters who are in the battlefield right now protecting their country? Yeah, I mean, guys like, uh, first of all, Yusek and, and, and uh, the Klitschko brothers and, and Lomachenko, you know, I mean, they're, they're very valiant. Uh, they're, they're courageous young men who uh, are going to fight for their country. They're fighters. They're, they're proving it. I mean, literally inside, outside the ring, they're fighters. Uh, yeah, be careful, man. Be careful. It's, uh, it's, uh, we're going through some tough times. I mean, the Ukraine is going through some really, really difficult, tough times. And it's sad that this has to happen, but it shows you their character. It shows you the fighters mentality, the fighters heart. You know, it's like they're, they're willing to risk their lives for their country, for their family, for their friends, for strangers that they don't even know. I mean, it's uh, it's very valiant, but it's it's it. They're they're the they're the representation of of what a fighter is, you know. They're the representation of what boxing is. We're a sport that we fight for each other. We no matter what. So it's it's commendable, man. But just you know, be careful out there. Could you imagine doing something like that? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> do you own any firearms? Huh? Have you I ever saw that? I, I might have a slingshot from the <laughs> when I was a kid, but no, that's why it's like, wow. I mean, they're president. Like, they're, yeah, like, the the pitch goes, the yeah, exactly. Right now, right? The pitch like, goes are right there with, I mean, yeah. I mean, who knows if, you know, uh, when you're in the battle and you're, that's like, you want to defend your country and maybe, yeah, but. It's like shit. I mean, hmm. wow. Yeah. It's like you, 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 you. It's it's so much respect. You know, fighting for their country. It's like what they're doing is incredible. How how, how does that affect the sport? It looks like Lomachenko is he. From what you're saying, he's over there. He's deciding to de to defend his country in the front lines. Uh, this might not make him available for um, Camboso's next. Sure. Um, it looks like there might still be negotiating with Devin or whatnot. I mean, it looks like this could be the opportunity for Ryan to really yeah. get the, the fight that you've been wanting from. The, 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 that's the type of fight, sure. right? Sure, and, and, and Cambosos is fighting soon. Um, Cambosos is fighting um, in Australia. And, uh, yeah, once if, if everything goes well with uh, with Ryan, then I'm willing to sit down with Lou Devala and maybe possibly even flying over to Australia um, to watch Cambosos fight and support him and uh, hopefully we can strike a deal or something. But yeah, from the looks of it, I mean, um, Lomachenko, uh, who knows what's, what's going what's gonna to happen? Uh, you know, is he going to be prepared on time? Is he going to, is he going to be able to, to, you know, train and have a proper training camp? It's, 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 it's you just, you just never know. Yeah. You just never know. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and I'm not. <laughs>